Hi, my name is Darius from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Yasuo Top. In solo queue while playing Yasuo, most of his matchups are very good, but the most common matchup that's hard is against Riven. The reason why Riven is a hard matchup is because she's very straightforward and all of her abilities seem to counteract yours. For you to beat Riven in lane, you'd have to highly out mechanic the Riven and build a certain way. There's a lot of conditions to be met, but if you get slightly ahead of Riven, you can basically stomp her for the rest of the game. This is a very unpractical situation, but you want to avoid playing Yasuo against Riven and even Fizz because these two assassins will give you the hardest time out of most champions. But on the opposite side, the champions you do want to play against are generally tanks or even Gnar. The reason why you want to play against Gnar is because your wind wall completely blocks all of his damage when he's in mini Gnar. And when you have Blade of the Rune King, you can out split push him and out sustain him when you get Blade of the Rune King and Infinity Edge. For late game, and Yasuo for solo queue is one of the best late games out of most champions. So even if you feed, as long as you farm, you'll be very useful late game. When laning with Yasuo, the most common thing you want to do is start Wolf Camp. After doing Wolf Camp with Doran's Blade, you want to TP into lane with five potions as level two. If the enemy did not do a camp, you can all in him if he's level one or play around with the wave to where it's facing towards you. If the enemy laner is level one in lane early, it's most likely that he pushed up so you can get level two, but if he didn't, you can easily take advantage by using your level two power spike. If it's an even lane, you want to generally farm out the creeps and use E on the minions a lot to build up your flow and your damage from E and then trade with auto attacks or Eing on the enemy. You can go back and forth and it's really hard for the enemies to hit you if done properly. At level 6 when it comes to laning, ask for a gank from your jungler for either a tower dive or a counter gank or even a, just a gank in general because when you get level 6 it gives you an ultimate that does CC and damage and is very useful when it comes to killing enemies. For team fights on Yasuo, there are many ways to go upon it. Sometimes you can be the engager when you built up the whirlwind where you can flash EQ and then ult, but only if they're on squishy targets or if they're all bunched up. This is the best way to engage when you're doing it by yourself and your teammates have no knockups. It's really important to find creeps to hit so you can build it up. But if you don't, you generally want to stay behind your AD carry and just peel for him with wind wall. When you go on the front line with your abilities and you build up your tornado, you can decide to either go on their back line or just constantly hit the front line. One of my main tips for Yasuo is, at first he can seem like a very, very hard champion to play, but as you play him and master him, he becomes very, very fun to play. Just because you aren't getting results with him early on, or when you haven't played him as much, don't feel discouraged. You should constantly play Yasuo until you master him and decide if he's the best champion for you. For runes on Yasuo, I like to go crit chance reds, flat armor yellow, flat MR blues, and attack speed quince. The reasoning for this is very basic. The reason why you want to go crit chance reds is because of Yasuo's passive where it's amplified, but recently one of the crit items were nerfed to where Yasuo doesn't get 100% crit when he has infinity edge and shiv. So basically this increases the efficiency of you getting crit chance more often, but you can also go attack speed or flat AD if you prefer. For attack speed quints, you want the cooldown reduction on your Q and the attack speed in general because when you have Doran's Blade and one potion for lane, the attack speed helps a lot. The reason, main reason being is the cooldown reduction and just attacking faster in general will allow you to have more crits by just having the chance of more attacks. 
On Masteries for Yasuo, I like to go 21-9. For a skill order on Yasuo, you want to start Q if you do a camp, and if you don't do a camp, you want to start E. Generally, you want to max E so you can get more damage from the E, and it makes you move faster. What this does is it allows you to have mobility, and it resets the cooldown even sooner. For item build on Yasuo, depending on who you're against, you always want to start Doran's Blade. After Doran's Blade, your core item is Shiv, and then your second core item is IE. IE is generally better for team fights, and then you have the option for Blade the Rune King, which is better against tanks and split pushing. For situational items, you can also go Vamp Scepter or a second Doran's Blade into Ninja Tabai. The reasoning for this is because some lanes are a lot harder than others, and to adapt to the harsh environment, for example, if you're playing against Yorick, Vamp Scepter will greatly help you, or a second Doran's Blade and Ninja Tabai will greatly help you against hard matchups like Riven. Thanks for watching my basic champion guide on Yasuo. Check out more guides at lowclass.com. The certain melees that gank him a lot. A good example would be Olaf is commonly good against Aurelia, but against good Aurelia players, it's very hard to be.